Well, new life has been breathed into some downtown Victoria Heritage buildings more than a century after they first went up. Developers have invested almost $11 million and a few gray hairs to bring these buildings back to life. And as CTV's Andrew Johnson reports, the final product is faithful to the original. <laughs> Developer Chris Lefebvre looks on like a proud papa, ushering a tour group into the Oriental Hotel, but restoring his 128-year-old baby included a few growing pains. This in particular has been a tough one. Um, the main hotel was originally built in two stages. Then we have a second building adjoining that, and then a third building that we removed at the rear. So there's been a lot going on, and then you've got to do the seismic upgrade, and then bring it all back to a nice living standard. He's pumped six million dollars into the project, converting one of the first hotels in the Old Town District into 29 apartments. Obviously, uh, I enjoy bringing back heritage buildings and new life to downtown. And then at the end of the day, uh, maybe some money because um, uh, this isn't just a hobby. His guests include Mayor Dean Fortin, who credits the city's heritage tax incentive program with encouraging developers such as Lefebvre to make what's old new again downtown. We've been working as a council to keep it active and vibrant, uh, whether it be what's happening in the street life at night, whether it be what's happening uh, with buildings downtown. All these things, uh, attracting businesses, keeping residents, these are important to us. Two blocks up Yates Street sits the Church Hill, which was originally two buildings built a year apart more than a century ago. Churchill Properties has spent $3.7 million to convert the complex into 40 rental suites. There is such a need for rental in downtown Victoria and we felt that this would be a good investment for our company long term. But to make the project viable, Churchill needed to make the building higher. This is the original roof before we added the floor to uh, make the development economic where we could put in the elevator. The city had something to say about adding two new levels to the top of a heritage building. It requested they be set back from the front facade and barely visible from street level. They will not let you, nor should they let you, build uh, another floor that is totally out of character with the 100-year-old building, you know, and have it uh, a layer cake from the street. So I totally understood setting it back. A one-bedroom suite on the fifth floor with a balcony rents for $1,350 per month. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Victoria.